Welcome to Trust the Lord Labradors. Today we're going to talk about when your dog is pregnant and now what do you do. It's important to remember that a dog's gestation period is over nine weeks. The best way to prepare for puppies is the following ways. Help your mama out by keeping water available at all times. Always free feed during this time. Lactation and pregnancy take a lot of calories and she needs to have food available to her always. It's important to introduce the whelping box during this time, normally between a seven to eight weeks period that gets her used to it uh, over the next three to six weeks. By week nine, she'll start nesting. And so it's important that the box is already established in the home that she feels comfortable being in it. She smells it. She gets these opportunities to look it over. You want to protect the puppies. You can install this three inch high bar around your whelping box. This will help as mama may roll when she's sleeping. She doesn't always know that there may be a puppy behind her. This is critical. You do not want to lose a puppy and the puppy could then be protected below this board as it can keep mom from rolling over and the puppy can still breathe behind that board. We did a two by 10 box for our puppies. That way they can't crawl out. For the first four weeks, they're not super mobile and they kind of army crawl and are just really interested in nursing. So the biggest thing your main concern is gonna be just as they get bigger and may be able to hop out, it'll need to be taller or move to a kennel. You'll have to transition. Um, we sealed it so that it doesn't absorb water and that it really doesn't absorb the pee, any spills, anything like that. I like to keep it that two by 10 height. It's just easy access for mom. It depends on your dog and honestly how tall she is as to what you will need for your dog. So keep that in mind as you're building this. You really, really wanna make the box long enough. This is so that mom can stretch out and she feels comfortable in the box. If it's too short and cramped, there's nowhere for her to lay down. That's not helpful. You want a four by four foot whelping box is what we do for labor. It's big enough that she can stretch out, but it helps her with labor because she'll push off the sides and she will just try to get her grip as the puppies come and the contractions start. She will appreciate that sturdy surface and the hard sides to push against while she's giving birth. I line it with cardboard just to make it easy for cleanup, especially for the birth and just the afterbirth and placenta, just everything that comes out. Each baby has its own amniotic sac, so it can get a little bit messy. It does just, it's just a quick and easy if you can pull that cardboard out. Honestly, just make sure mom's comfortable in your box. Make sure that she can stay in there and has no problems with that. You want to give her extra room for the puppies to grow. And um, I like to put magazines in around week nine the mom will start to shred something and she will shred whatever is available to her so you definitely want to give her something to shred so the magazines are just easy they kind of come you know i get them in the mail and that's cheap um, if she doesn't have anything there's a point right before her labor where they start shredding things like i mentioned and she will shred whatever's close by that she can find she makes a nest She'll make it with blankets, towels. Um, I've seen dogs shred just about anything they can get their hands on. Your good rugs. So definitely give her something before she does that. If you want to use shredded paper later, um, as the puppies get older and start pooping and stuff and peeing in the whelping box, that's an easy cleanup. If you don't like that, the cedar chips are a, a second option that I really enjoyed. They really cut down on the smell and just help us clean up. You can kind of use it like a cat litter and just pull out what's there and leave the rest. But it definitely keeps down the smell of ammonia. 
when the pee, just be sure to keep changing it out. That's important for a healthy environment for the puppies. It needs to be cleaned um, continuously through the day. So mom's gonna nurse in the box. The puppy should stay there, but she'll want a place to monitor the pups outside of the box because otherwise they're just feeding on her nonstop. And that's really difficult for her. So the best way to do that is just to put a little bed right beside your whelping box and let her get some sleep while she can monitor the pups and just honestly feel safe. That's the important thing. You want your dog to feel safe. If she doesn't feel safe, guys, she can move the puppies. And you don't know where, but she could move them anywhere. And that would be difficult because they're now possibly all over your house if you have to go run an errand or something and she will take them all to somewhere else that she feels safe. So that's definitely something to consider. And our pup is now eight weeks along. So I wanna update you guys on um, the birth and lactation and just kind of how all that goes as well. So stay tuned. Please like and subscribe our page. Thank you for watching.